for uh, doing nice cases. Uh, what I'll do is I'll share couple, three or four of my cases, and then uh, we can, I think, have discussion. So I hope the screen is visible. Yes, sir, visible. Okay. Uh, So thank once again to Novartis for having all of us on the same uh, platform. We'll again skip this uh, slides. Only point I wanted to highlight was that uh, there's so much of confusion everywhere uh, about these trials and all, but the real world experience is totally different. And like Chaitra was talking uh, about the fluids, various fluids, uh, you know, there are various uh, discussions held in various forums that SRF you can tolerate. My gut feeling on this is that SRF we can tolerate. Primarily, it is the our defeat actually that we are not able to try it, and then we say, okay, absorb nahi ho to we tolerate that. You see, a lot of uh, companies of uh, competitive molecules who say SRF does not affect the vision, but uh, I still believe it is medical defeat or it is our defeat if we are not able to try it. And I still believe. But Chatra also was hinting that all fluid is bad. Primarily, we should have a dry retina if we want to be happy about it. And this Chatra has already said. We will just uh, go into the cases. You see, world got alarmed by this incidence of intraocular inflammation. And this I copied from the, the, the journals. So many cases reported. So we got scared. Everybody got scared. So, hesitatingly, I tried. I think everybody tried that only. So, this was my first patient. So, I did not have guts to start uh, in, a, in a very good seeing eye. So this lady had been advised long time back, but she did not come. So, she had a scar primarily with few cystic cavities. But amazingly, I counseled her and her, her, uh, this, all this cystic cavity disappeared with first one injection of Dorsina. And it has remained stable since then. She did not require the second injection also. And she is happy because of, I don't know what improvement she got, but she is happy. This was my second patient. She is an 83-year-old lady. She had good vision. She was maintaining on 612-69 with multiple injections of Rani Dorsina. The only reason in the COVID time I offered her because her son was in US and uh, he insisted that I give Dolcina. And response, uh, anatomical response, because functionally there was hardly anything to gain here. There's only one line improvement uh, remaining. But you see the height of PED, all the compartments of fluid, all decreasing. And like Ajay Dudani was telling, it is the PED which, uh, you know, catches one's attention. And never, never I have seen so much flattening of PEDs happening with any of these drugs or happening very occasionally. But with this, the, the response has been reasonably consistent. This was my third patient. Uh, she was unresponsive to monthly injections. So we gave uh, the upper photograph is one day post injection. And you see the anatomical response again, uh, mirroring what uh, Dudani was saying from 588 to 430. This was uh, my patient number four, actually. And this was a relatively younger uh, lady, 63 years old. She again uh, had received multiple injections before she, she came to us. And notice preoperatively, there was this huge PED with some SRF also. And this was picture taken four weeks. Miraculous kind of response. And you can hardly make out also, was there any evidence of any disease in this patient also. You see it. The foveal contour is back, and rarely you come across uh, you know, patients like this. But this lady has had recurrences. I would not say that she has received now uh, four injections. In fact, this shows this was after the third injection. I copied this OPD photograph here. This was in July, and after that, she has received. And I actually tried to counsel her away that I told her you can come back to previous injection. She said, nah, I would love to receive the page only because of the miraculous response it was showing. These are the serial photographs of one, two, and this was the last injection 
you could see some rpa abnormality but by and large most of the retina is dry this is a story of another gentleman he is an elderly 82 year also received so many injections of ilia you can see on the top slide nearly monthly injections of ilia he was receiving and he was practically one eye left eye finger counting he was depending only on the right eye and he used to read actively also so this gentleman has received five injections and he is again one of my uh, you know patients who virtually begs for pgnx and he has been receiving virtually q8 now and i'll just share his slides he has a peripheral membrane in the right eye but despite that you see multiple rpeds with subretinal fluid here this was after first injection and then he has gone on to receive multiple injections here the lower one is after uh, third injection and this was one of the recent slides where peripheral membrane remains the rpd is flattened and if you compare with the first photograph there is a dramatic reduction in the rpd and this was before the fifth injection which we gave recently vision still maintained at 6.9 so this in nutshell i would just summarize is the is the response of uh, our study from centrophosite and this is log one visual acuity vision plotted against pre and post and this is the change in the thickness if you see i have not been very lucky from the vision point of view and this is primarily because uh, these patients have received multiple injections before uh, we start giving patient x and therefore sometimes i feel and i had hinted in the beginning also are we late in instituting because some of you are saying words like wow effect and you know and miraculous effect but somehow i have not been lucky from the vision point of view but if you see from the point of view of uh, thickness or the resolution of fluid or from the uh, decreasing of the height it is a dramatic response there is no doubt about it the rpd flattens and all the three compartments of fluid they show a very dramatic response and this is statistically significant and we were fortunate that we did not encounter any inflammation or any vasculitis in any of these uh, 18 eyes which i have shown uh, which i have tabulated here one thing is very certain which i think all of us have agreed that is a marked drying effect of lucina is no doubt about this so how do how do we or how should we be taking this forward because uh, shall we start treating all arnb patients with uh, uh, brucima or shall we wait or shall we compile all, all our data so as to become convinced and convince rest of our colleagues also about uh, the the wonder effects of brucima you see what i do is i talk to them a lot of patients come with google knowledge but definitely explain about this new entity what i do is we study the trend of this both the visual acuity as well as cfc reduction if the trend is positive that means patient is happy so uh, we have no reason to be unhappy but however the trend is negative or patient is having frequent recurrences and patient is fed up and patient is not wanting to come back frequently or many other reasons so then i do not hesitate to give him a choice of brucima and when sir i given a choice it has made me happier only that why did not i give this choice before so i have not regretted till now of not giving but somehow a lot of our colleagues they they they, they do not give a very good opinion about this and if i advise go to see somebody will say you can try other drugs before you come because of the fear of uh, vasculitis or inflammation the only thing is we do take a definitive uh, a different kind of consent where we do mention what sir has mentioned the label that there could be inflammation as of now monthly dosing i don't do it because uh, maybe do not have enough guts to do that but most of these patients are either on prn or q8 or q12 regarding initiating treatment treatment nai i think a lot of sub of us have started doing it this i think uh, has already been shown previously so i tried to collect data from all across the india and spoke to novartis also and lot of uh, my friends uh, scattered everywhere so i did not encounter people telling me that there has been huge amount of uh, uh, you know vasculitis or occlusion reported uh, i will request raja to tell us about this small survey which he had done 
the only thing is number of patients i think uh, there were some limited patients but definitely an important take home from that uh, we would love to hear from raja about the uh, the survey which he had done the only thing uh, you see i would request everybody is i did paste this uh, in the the whatsapp group also if all of us can agree to develop some kind of common performa is very simple performa something like this which all of us do and share so that our our experience grows our collective wisdom grows so that uh, ultimately we can advise with a lot of uh, you know confidence to our patients that like raja was saying do indianize behave differently with this why are we not encountering any even 1% or 2% out of the 4500 eyes uh, which uh, india has done we are not encountering even 1% or to the top of 4% inflammation so i would request that in case we can you know take on this and have a collected data so that uh, we can have confidence to give this wonderful molecule so with this i'll uh, stop sharing and invite any questions if anybody has before we go to i think dr methi must have joined by now i'm not uh,